everyone. Welcome to First Lutheran's Faith Formation class called Holy Moly. Woo -woo. Oh, I am so glad you're here today, Tofik. This is my favorite part of the week when I get to see you. Yes, it's my favorite too. It's time for a story. Yes, it is. And we're reading out of the Spark Story Bible today, and it is page 329. Jesus blesses the children. The children even get to come to Jesus. Hmm. You ready? Let's go. Jesus traveled all over the land telling people about the good news of God's love. One day, Jesus was walking to a large crowd. It seemed that there was always a crowd around Jesus and the children had to stand on their tiptoes or they had to sit on their parents' shoulders just to see Jesus. People were everywhere on the grassy hill. They were laughing and they were smiling and they were waiting for Jesus to tell them more about God. God loves you and you and you. He wants you to love other people, too. I want my children to hear what Jesus is saying. Other parents wanted their children to hear Jesus, too. They moved closer and they put their children down on the grass. One small boy tugged on the corner of Jesus's robe and Jesus turned around. Ah. But the disciples scolded the parents. What do you think you're doing? Jesus is too important and too busy to talk to these children. Move your children back. When Jesus heard the disciples say these words, he stood up and he turned back to the grown-ups. What do you mean? These children are as important to me as you are. I want to bend down and look in their eyes and tell them about God's love too. Never stop anyone coming to see me, especially children. Let the children come sit on my knee. Children like these are a part of God's big family too. Come sit with me and I will tell you about the love of God, my father. Jesus sat on the grass with all of the children and told all of the girls and boys about God and God's family. Then Jesus put his hand on every girl's head and every boy's head and blessed them, saying, Remember, God and I love you just the way you are. Remember my words. Whoever does not love God like a child won't be a part of God's family. Miss Paula, does this mean that all children can come to Jesus, even the teeny tiny babies? Oh, you were a good listener to the story today, Tofi, again, a good participant. Yes, is the answer to your question. All children can come. To Jesus. It doesn't matter what age you are. Jesus loves the little children, all of the little children of the world. Okay kids, it's time to get your activity packets out and craft supplies and get ready for Miss Susan. Whoop, whoop. Hey Tofik, Miss Paula, the puppets, thanks so much for the introduction. Every week, these stories keep getting better and better. Thank you. For today's story, I'm gonna help you remember by playing a game with your friends, family, whoever's around you, even your stuffies. Because today we're talking about Jesus and the children. And the verse is, let the little children come to me. Do not stop them. For it is to such as these that the kingdom of God belongs. That's in the Bible in the book of Mark, chapter 10, verse 14. And do you see the come to me? 
and stop? I want you to play the stop and go game or the red light, green light game. So you're going to pretend that the stop is the disciple saying, stop, don't let the children go to Jesus. And then the green light or the go is going to be Jesus saying, come to me. So play, have fun playing that game. And then we're going to continue with the game theme because in your holy moly activity packets, you're going to get for the younger kids, you're going to play a game, another game, a board game. So if you don't have any dice at home, you can always take little pieces of paper and put one, two, three, four, five, six on them and put them in a bowl and mix them up. And that can be how you move across the board. And so you're going to cut out this other page and all of the cards so that you can have um, play the game using funny actions to get everyone closer to Jesus. And on the bottom are six markers that you can choose from to use to move across the board. For the more advanced kids, this one's going to be a big one. You're going to do a lot of folding. Your activity packet has these four strips on one side. Is it this side or is it this side? Either way, there's four strips and you're going to cut out all four strips. And then on each one it says, I show God's forgiveness in my family when, and then you can write down when you show forgiveness in your family. And this one's, I show God's kindness at my school when, and you can write down an example there. And then set those to the side because then you're gonna get to the folding. And the folding is all about the dots are on the outside and the dashes are on the inside. So there's the first fold. And then you can see these crisscross ones. So I'm gonna fold those with the dots on the outside and the dashes on the inside. And then there's even more dashes, or excuse me, dots. And there's the dashes. And then there's more dots and there's more dashes. So once you get through folding, you'll be able to make a little Jesus to stand up. So you will take and put his face forward and put the triangle down with his hands. And then if you fold Jesus like this, but not fold fold, but just bring him in a circle. You can see that he's got his hands touching each other. So you're gonna take some of your tape, and again, there's more tape at the church, right by the Holy Moly packets, um, if you need more, and you can take some out of that extra bin basket. Um, we have extra supplies, or contact Miss Paula if you um, need anything else too, like glue sticks or, or uh, more paint too. And then you're gonna fold these flaps in so you can set Jesus up. And so he's standing. And then remember these four strips that you put aside? I'm gonna have you crumple them up. You're gonna crumple them up and you're gonna play a game and try it, oh, try and make a basket and have fun playing games with Jesus. And then in your trinket packets, you have some stickers and you can make the scene, let the little children come to me. So you can put those stickers right on that little scene. And then it comes with a magnet and then another sticker that you can put on the back if you wanna put the magnet on there, but you don't have to, that's just up to you. And so that's, those are our activities for today. So. Again, these stories keep getting better and better. Thanks for joining us. The, the 
theme today was while Jesus was teaching, many parents brought their children to him so he would lay his hands on them. The disciples ordered the children to go away, but Jesus stopped them. He encouraged all the children to come to him and said that the kingdom of God belongs not to the rich and powerful, but to people who are helpless like children. And the disciples, they, they just wanted to protect Jesus. Um, it, it seems like Jesus was giving constant pressure from distraction of the crowds. And so the disciples didn't mean to hurt the kids' feelings and, and they were just trying to protect Jesus. So it wasn't in bad, it was just an accident. And so Jesus was there being a teacher and he was teaching the disciples. About how he wants even kids to come to him too and um, we're we're gonna close with our prayer and this is a fun prayer too today okay bow your heads thank you uh, one two three Jesus loves me four five six we're in the mix seven eight nine his love is divine ten eleven our goal is heaven amen Thanks for joining us. And we have the next four weeks of Holy Moly activity packets and the trinket kits for the older siblings too. Um, and, and the older kids at our church too. So there's the extra still there for you guys too. And we hope you're enjoying them. Um, but those activity packets are ready to be picked up. And therefore, the next four weeks are going to be focused on Holy Week. We've got Palm Sunday, we've got Monday or Holy Thursday, Good Friday, and Easter Sunday. So those will be our next four weeks. Um, we'll see you next time. Bye.